Hi, I'm Paris Ascot. I can save you money. Please subscribe, share this video with all your friends and family, and put a thumbs up to like it, and also put a bell, get that bell rung, and then you don't miss any of my money saving tips. And put some comments in chat. Should I stop micropayments? Do you know what a micropayment is? A micropayment is when you pay a small amount of money on a regular basis. So, for example, it's um, an app, um, you know, purchases in an app, um, buying from vending machines, uh, buying a daily newspaper, and even um, a coffee and a favourite pastry. All these payments, they are quite small, but at the end of the month, they can add up to a large amount of money. So if you're trying to save money and you're often trying to find the best deals on the internet for various things that you might be wanting, you may not notice how much you're saving because all these micro payments, they outweighing your savings. You know, you're saving on one part, but then you're spending on the other, which you don't actually notice. So all your efforts to find the best deals can be undone um, if the micropayment um, isn't kept under control. So this is not about going without something um, that you really enjoy, but it's keeping an eye on how much you're spending on these small purchases. So for example, um, if you're buying a top, for as little as £3, then the postage is £3, which is still a very cheap top at £6. But if you're doing this five times, which isn't a lot again, it's £30. You know, so whack, it's £30. So where you're thinking, oh, it's just it's just a little top there, it's just nothing. That's where it, it starts sizing up. But it's mainly, so if you're buying a coffee and a snack every day, and you go to the till and it's not a lot of money when you go there and it's five pounds. It's That's not a lot when you're buying a drink and a snack. But five days a week, 52 weeks out of the year, that is a staggering 1,300 pounds. 1,300 pounds. So if you went to a coffee shop and they gave you a bill of £1,300, I'm sure that the majority of the people would just walk out of the shop. But since it's only £5 a time, you just pay it. Another one is um, apps. And they're just 99 pence in the app and in an app purchase. Generally, these are things like powering up on a game for 99 pence. So if you do this just for one pound uh, for every day of the year, that's 365 pounds you've paid. And the majority of the people, they just pay the pound. Oh, it's just a quid. It's just a pound. So... There are so many examples that, that I can use when people are paying these small amounts of money every day, several times a week, and they, without even noticing, but all these small little payments, they add up. So the best way is to monitor, and this is to record every time you spend just a small amount of money and what you spend it on. So even if it's just a, just for a, just for one month, just wait for one month, just just to see, and then you've also just to get, ask you the question: Do I really need this purchase? So I have done this this task myself, and I'm absolutely amazed on what I've actually paid for. My goodness, you think, really? And you don't realise and you totally up and you think, God, blimey. <laughs> and I really didn't need that, did I? And, well, that was just bought for convenience and, you know. And the money saving technique is about monitoring and 
in your spending and changing your habits. So you're saving money. It's not about denying yourself um, on things that you really want. It can be simply realising that you're spending money on things that you are not really bothered about. Or, you know, you bought a newspaper and a coffee. I didn't even have a chance to look at the newspaper. It just went down and then it just went in the bin. It didn't even get turned over. So do you really need that newspaper every day? Or do you really just need to go on the internet and just find out the information from there? You know, you just got to ask yourself, do you, will you read it? Do you really need it? If the answer is yes and I read every page, fine. So it's sometimes um, now businesses and corporations have actually changed uh, some of their business models and they've actually switched to micropayments. And that's because people don't realise how much money they're actually spending. So a good example um, is if um, a game is actually cheap or free. And then on the, um, on the computer game, on the, or on the console, um, which are re they require micropayments. And the micropayments might be to either give you some extra features or it might be just to get to, you to the next level. And, you know, if you was to purchase the game straight, you know, initially, it would be around about £50. And then you wouldn't have to pay any more money at all. But with these micro payments, so yeah, the game is free or very little, you just keep spending and spending and you don't even realise, you just, oh, I just need to get onto that nibble, I just need this, I just need that, I just need an extra bag of these, these beans, so I'll just get these beans and then I can go on to the next level. And people don't bother calculating on how much it's costing and companies know that most people they're not watching how much they're spending on the game and this is why they've changed to the micro payment system because you will pay more money this way rather than just buying the game outright so they, they will do both but this is why they're offering you these free games so you can be better off by spending um, and paying full price for the game and so you're not paying any more money afterwards. So <clears throat> other examples of the micro payments are buying things like a single packet of crisps. You know, if you, it's not pr no problem about having crisps. If you go to the supermarket, you can get a huge bag and just take one every day and they just cost pence instead of like a pound. So you're just reducing that cost buying a single bar of chocolate. Again, go to a supermarket and get a pack of, of the chocolates and take one out every day. The newspaper, decide if you if, it, if it's just going to go straight into the recycling like I know that some people do. You know, they don't even open a page. Think about, will I read it? And then if you, you will read it, then buy it. But if, you, if it's going to go in the recycling, maybe just think, I'll just catch up on the news online. And coffees, you can either think, well, some people, you see, they want real lovely coffee and that sets them up for the day. But if people are not as bothered, maybe just get a flask and then and do it themselves. And then again, you can just bar, buy a massive bar of, a jar of coffee and you can fill it up and use your flask and you can have an immense amount of coffee. But I do understand if people do want the posh coffees because it does there is a big taste difference but it just all depends on what you want just another one are things like carrier bags at the supermarket you know they're like 20 pence each and you'll probably have maybe about five bags why not just buy um you know one of those canvas bags a pound and then keep them in your car and then you never have to buy any more bags so it just saves you every time so you spend the ones and that's it so all these, um, the, it doesn't feel like it's big money when you're purchasing them. But at the end of the year, it can add up to hundreds or even thousands. It's really, you think, thousands? Really? Oh yeah, yeah, it really can. So just depending on, obviously, your individual spending habit. 
it's always really good if you can write down your micro payments. I know it sounds laborious and it can be, but if you can just do it for say like a month, you can find out patterns and trends of your spending. Just, just do it even just for a week, a month, you know, because it really can help. It really does help you. And when you're actually going for a purchase, it's so easy just to get your wallet out and or even your phone and you just quickly just pick it up and then you just go to the cashier and before you know it, your phone has just taken the money out or your credit card or the money um, that you've got in your purse stroke wallet. But sometimes you're best staying in the shop just for a moment and looking at the item and saying, do I really need this purchase? or want this purchase because sometimes you'll be you'll have something and you've actually got one identical at home and it, and it's surprising how many times this will actually happen so just ask yourself do i really need this item then a lot sometimes you will actually just put it down and think do you know what i don't and sometimes you do but just ask yourself that question so for, mon for my other money saving tips, please subscribe, put the thumbs up and then put some comments in chat and don't forget to put the bell on and it'll give you all new money saving tips. I can save you money. Until next time.